Hey YouTube, so in uh, today's video, we're going to be spending some time with my mystery snails. They desperately need it. Uh, I've been kind of struggling with them, so I'm going to change up their tank a bit, move them to a bigger tank, and see if I can get them on the mend. And uh, what's wrong with them, you may ask? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you. So here's what we're looking at, see if I can get it without the glare. Um, just having some problems, their shells are eroding, and I've been using Tums, I've been using uh, Aqua Vitro Mineralize, just anything I can to try to help them out, and it's just not working out, so I'm going to be moving them, this is a 10 gallon tank, uh, going to be moving them to a 20 gallon tank, and hopefully get them on the mend, but I mean they're, they're spawning. I've got little baby snails, I've got a clutch there, oh, I've got, I don't know, a clutch back there, Clutch, two clutches there, these ones are hatching out already. Normally this has a top on it, so it does stay humid for them, they don't dry out. But they just make a ton of mess, and uh, it's time to upgrade them to a bigger tank. I have to do daily water changes. This is me missing one day. Look how nasty this water is. So, I'm gonna be moving them to a, a bigger tank just to help with the water. So, I'm gonna be moving them from this 10 gallon tank to a 20 gallon tank. Gonna actually, this 20 gallon long right here, I'm gonna take out this is just sand and a little bit of Eco Complete mixed in there. There's a Malaysian trumpet snail in there. But yeah, hopefully moving them into here will help with the water and also changing out this substrate. I'm gonna be using uh, Argonite, which is normally people use that for salt water or cichlids. All right, as you can see, I got most of the substrate and water out and I am draining my water over here. I should probably be vacuuming this out, but really don't want to do too much vacuuming here because I don't want to suck up any small little mystery snails and they're in there. I don't know, you can see the little orange dots back there. So I don't think I'm going to do any vacuuming in here. Just got to wait it out for it to slowly drain. So here's the Argonite I'm going to be using and I'm going to run into a problem that I really didn't think about until just now. Obviously this stuff is not pre-washed, but I can't wash it because it's like one degree outside. So I don't want to freeze up all my lines. And I really don't want to rinse it inside like in the bathtub and get a bunch of small little Argonite pieces down my drain. So my only other option is to just pour it in here and just keep it dirty. I mean, I'll, be able to, I'll still do the daily water changes until it's cleaned up, but that's kind of what I'm working with, so I don't really have a choice. Well, I can already tell how much of a nightmare this is going to be just by how cloudy it already is without any water in it. But, like I said, I don't really have a choice. Fortunately, that's the cost of doing business when it's one degrees outside. I'm just hoping that this will keep enough minerals in the water that uh, you know it'll help with the eroding of the shells. What I, kind of what I found online and doing some research. Maybe you guys have some tips. Uh, I tried the Tums thing for about two weeks. That didn't work. So any other tips, let me know in the comments. But I'm gonna get this thing filled up with water. And for those people wondering if detritus worms are bad, I just scooped some out and threw them in here. And I kind of just scared them all. Or all the ember tetras, unfortunately. But as you saw there, there was a green jade rasbora uh, eating them. Also some shrimp picking at a bunch of them down here, which is kind of odd.
Oh, I don't know if I caught that on camera. So totally harmless. I know a lot of people ask about them all the time. But as you can see, they're just coming over and swooping them up. So nothing to be alarmed about. Okay, maybe I can spook them over there. There's one right here. Let's see if they see it. No, I think I scared them. But I proved my point. Harmless, good food source. So if you have them, just get some small nano fish and they'll, they'll clean them right up. So another cool thing as you see down there are looks like a couple of scuds making babies. So I'm going to keep this tank rocking and rolling. I'm going to take the snails out but I'm going to leave it nice and dirty and see if I can really get these guys pumping out some babies because this would be a great source of food. Yeah, I had no idea these were in here. That makes me pretty happy. See the detritus worms down there. So if I can keep this tank nice and nasty, I'll have a good source of live food. Oh man, they're everywhere. Huh, this just made my day. So like I thought, definitely gonna be cloudy. Probably gonna be this way for a while. Uh, hopefully a couple days. Of water changes will clear this up. I'm also going to put on a that same hang, hang on the back filter. Uh, I have this AquaClear 50 that I was using when my zebra plecos are in here, but uh, it already broke, not even a year old, so all hang on the back filter is garbage. But you can see if I did pull out one little one there, one really tiny one there, small little guy just fell through the cracks there. So Despite the shells, they're still breeding, so there is hope. Uh, I'm not too worried about acclimating them into this new environment because they will just suck up into their shells and they won't come out until they are already acclimated, so until they're comfortable with their environment. So I did wrap the sponge that goes in the hang on back filter with some polyfill just to help clear out these fine particles in the water. So hopefully it'll at least help a little bit. Put that guy in there. All right, so it's actually been a little bit of time now. Uh, I don't know, hour and a half or so. Water is still really cloudy. You can actually, a lot of the snails here are burrowing themselves into the substrate here. Now there's a few reason that mystery snails do this. Apple snails do it. Uh, well, most any snail, really. Uh, and why they're doing it here, this is probably like a self-defense mechanism. Sometimes they'll bury the burrow themselves. Uh, you know, this is a new tank. They're not sure of their surroundings. Uh, they'll do this when the water gets really muddy. They'll kind of go into a hibernation state. That could be it, since my water is really cloudy. Uh, but you see, most of them are out and about, moving around. I already got some way over here. So it's really just about, I don't know, 25% of them are down there burrowed. Got some up here looking like they're ready to already drop some, some eggs. So I'm not too worried about this, but I will watch them for a while. Kind of keep a close eye on them just to make sure they're doing okay. But that's going to kind of end the, the snail segment here, as now it's just a waiting game. Uh, I'll do another water change tomorrow and uh, maybe do like an update on them next week. See if they're doing any better. Alright, and since I gave you guys kind of a failed puffer eating last video, uh, I think I'm going to throw some snails in here and see if we can get them to eat for you guys this video. See what happens here. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I hope the camera picked up that crunching sound. I don't know if it's going to pick that up, but that's really loud here in person.
Just a bloodbath. See his belly already starting to get big and drag along the bottom there. Still one more there. See if you can find that one that he's laying on. Behind you. Over here. Over here. You're laying on it. Of course, the rainbows are looking for any kind of scraps they can get. Well, he'll find that last one eventually. I would say a very successful feeding. I'm gonna show you guys a quick update on these guys. This is basically just for me so I can come back and have a kind of a timeline on how big they are at what point. And uh, of course these are the Honduran red points. And I got the super red bristlenose fry. And on the back there, uh, can't get it to focus on them. But you see the loaches I got in the back there. I think the last time I couldn't really get them on video. I'm still having a trouble focus on them. But at least you can see they're still there. Everything over here is still doing good too. Nothing new to report. I don't see any of the black Dario in here. Or the black tiger Dario. All hiding, but the Heterandria Formosa. They're up scooting around. Waiting for some food. And one just quick last little update that I've done in the fish room here, not even anything that amazing, is I'm trying to run this tank now with the top off and see if my dehumidifier can keep up with it. Because this is just way cooler being able to come and look from the top down at all my multis here, all my shell dwellers, versus having the carbonite top or even a glass top. It's just not as good as being able to see these with no top. So I'm really enjoying it. I've only had it off for about two days now. And so far, the dehumidifier seems to be keeping up. But I also want to make sure it's not running so much that, you know, my electric bill is going to go way up. Maybe I'll grab some of the, some food here and feed them for you. Alright, so I just got some of the aquarium co-op fry food here in the squirt bottle. And this works really well for Shelly's uh, of all sizes. So adults fry works with all of them. I'm going to kind of squirt this around here. And as you can see, they all love it. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, not a whole lot got done in the fish room this week. Uh, some of you may know I did like 10 hours of live streaming so beyond just the normal water changes and moving my snails, not a whole lot got done last week in the fish room. But uh, I do have some stuff coming up um, this week, later this week, probably this weekend I'm live streaming but I also have some new fish coming in that I traded for. Uh, I'm getting some new snails that I traded for. So getting some new stuff coming in. And uh, so if I don't do another live stream by Saturday, then I guess I will see you all on Saturday.